can you describe what unhappiness is ah unhappiness unhappiness is the real reason why we have come on this earth and when we are unhappy we solve problems we we start fixing things allow yourself to be unhappy it's very important if you are unhappy if you are in pain you have a problem that's when you find solutions how the hell do you find solutions you know you, you want to get divorced you have to get married first so then you need to have a problem you need to be unhappy and then you can solve it this is an example and it's a joke guys don't get touchy okay the married people but i'm happily married i want to prove to you that you have one guy is out one guy who used to bite his wife bite his wife got hurt when i said marriage is not happy and then he is trying to prove to me now he is sticking with her to prove to me that marriage is worth it i am like what is wrong with you guys what are the kind of things you get unhappy about choose your unhappiness because you have to choose which and what to get unhappy about because if you solve it there should be some reward get unhappy about things that if you solve it then there's a reward okay so unhappiness is something that needs to be aimed properly like a gun if you if you aim it at your own head it will kill you if you aim your unhappiness at the right thing then you get some reward so please be careful with unhappiness don't aim it at yourself i mean you can you can be unhappy with your looks you can be unhappy with your financial status you can be unhappy with your relationship you can be unhappy with your health and then fix all of them don't just go on being unhappy right so unhappiness is a good tool it it promotes action but people are miserable today because they are avoiding unhappiness know the difference unhappiness comes you want to avoid it because it it says some truth about your life how you're not good enough it points to an inadequacy of yours so you don't want to hear it because ego is so big yeah so your ego is like a map of undivided russia now what to do what to do so you start avoiding unhappiness that's what you do like stop this shit guys stop this shit okay just stop it from today now stop it now don't avoid your unhappiness say the truth i'm unhappy with my marriage i'm unhappy with my health i'm unhappy if i become fat like a potato and uh, i'm unhappy with uh, my knowledge i'm unhappy with my income good that's why you came on earth to solve all those problems and become rich and healthy and fabulous and beautiful this is what you can do then you'll be happy for a while and find something else to be unhappy about but this time it won't be yourself you'll get out of your head and you'll be unhappy about some bigger problem in the world that you can solve maybe you get unhappy with plastic and you'll actually solve the problem or maybe you'll invent technology to solve some other problem or maybe you do something innovative creative amazing that so many problems get solved you know come on guys this is why we came on earth i know i am shocked at the teach i am it's my when i i came on this earth i was shocked with what people are teaching each other i decided not to listen to any of that crap even when i was a kid i said no this is crap and i stopped listening to it and that's how i became a yogi you can do it at any time it's not too late okay you may be 75 years old but you can do it stop believing that you have to avoid unhappiness and chase happiness it's the other way around you have to avoid happiness artificial happiness and chase the unhappiness chase it feel it fully and then solve it of course unhappiness doesn't feel good it's not good for your ego it always points at your inadequacy yes or no every time you look at something unhappy it points at your inadequacy and you can't hear it because oh my god your ego is bigger than china the population of china so with your himalayan ego you can't listen to what's wrong with you so difficult it pains you get pain when you hear what's wrong with you now what to do
You can never admit something is wrong with me. Are, I know my website sucks, you know. You know, I'm putting so much effort to get a good website. And finally, it's working. I had to put two years of effort. I was only finding idiots. Now what to do? So finally, I'm working on it. And some hope is coming from the horizon that I can actually have a website that does everything that I waste my time doing in my life. Wouldn't that be amazing? Then I can solve bigger problems. So that's something you keep worse. You know that I know it sucks. I wake up every morning with the knowledge that it sucks. I'm unhappy. You have to be. I'm a yogi and I'm unhappy. What about you? You should be double unhappy because you don't even know yoga, right? Somebody is not a yogi, I'm saying. So you should really face it. Like, whatever you're unhappy with, come on, man. Unhappiness is the fuel of action. Without unhappiness, there's no action. You're going to sit like a potato. Those who are happy don't act. They just sit like potatoes. Happiness is the most tamasic stuff in the world. Not onions and garlic. Excuse me. <laughs> 